Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In today's video, I am doing a special collaboration with Anna from Cooking the Books. If you love vintage cookbooks as much as I do, you'll love her channel. She makes all sorts of recipes from vintage cookbooks, and she also does vintage cookbook hauls and reviews. So for our collaboration today, we both chose a recipe from Better Homes and Gardens Jiffy Cooking. So after watching my video, please make sure to check out her channel and see what she made. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description box. Today I'll be making cinnamon toast cobbler and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box as well. So let's get started. So you are going to need one pound of canned peaches drained and you're going to reserve one cup of that peach juice. You're going to need some lemon juice, cornstarch and salt. You're also going to need a mixture of sugar, cinnamon and nutmeg. I have three slices of day old bread and in order to get mine kind of stale, I did leave it out on the counter for several hours. And then you are going to need a um, half stick of butter and then you're also going to need some melted butter. Okay, I'm gonna start off by adding in the peach juice or that syrup to a large bowl. And then I am going to add in my baking soda and salt that I've kind of mixed up. I'm just gonna pour it in. I'm gonna give it a good stir and I'm just gonna let this mixture come to a boil. So this has been simmering for a couple of minutes. Now I'm just adding in my butter and my lemon juice and going to add in my peaches, and it says to let this cook until it starts to boil, just before it boils, actually. Okay, so my peach mixture was ready, and all I did was pour it into an 11 by seven pan. Now the direction said to use a 10 by six pan, didn't have this, didn't have that, so I'm sure this one will be just fine. Now let's work on the crust portion. Okay, so all you're supposed to do is take your bread, dip it in the butter, and then dip it in that cinnamon sugar mixture, and then just arrange it right on top, just like this. Okay, so I dipped all my bread. I will tell you I did not have enough butter for dipping. I had to microwave another three tablespoons of butter in order to um, dip and coat all of my bread. So I don't know if my bread was really dry and it just soaked up all the butter or if bread slices were a lot smaller way back then, I'm not sure. But I am going to pop this in the oven. It says at 375, my oven is preheated for 25 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so it's hot out of the oven and I let it bake for exactly 25 minutes. I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then gonna give it a little taste test. Okay, so I let the cobbler cool and then I put some in a bowl. My husband and I both tasted it and we both said it's pretty good. So um, I thought maybe the toast would taste a little bit different, like it would get soggy or mushy and it really doesn't. It is really nice and buttery and crispy. I'm sure as it sits in the pan, it'll soak up some of those juices and be a little bit softer, but right now it's not. I love that cinnamon, um, cinnamon sugar mixture on top. It's pretty delicious. And I would probably serve this with some ice cream or some Cool Whip. But anyway, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go and check out Anna's channel, see what she cooked up today. And I'll make sure to leave her channel link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.